I'd like to show you our creative color grading pack called Lucid Dream. We've created a group of 3D LUT profiles that do really cool color changes to different tonal areas in your image. We're going all the way around the color wheel using different hues and applying them to different tonal areas, including the highlights, mids, and shadows, so you get a lot of different effects for your images. And remember, these profiles live equally in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. I'm going to be showing you the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. I'm going to open up my first image here, and you can see right off it's pretty dark. There's a majority of the information is residing in the mid to dark values. I'm actually going to open up the shadows just a touch. And there are some highlights that are running a little bit hot in her face. I'm just going to balance this out. Maybe now open up the exposure a touch. So you can see I'm just doing a really, really quick balance to this image. This is all I'm going to do. It's going to take me one minute. It's going to allow me to apply these profiles in a way that I can really see what's going on if I start from a good place. Opening up the browser, you can see that I have Adobe Color here, so I can mouse over to go back and forth. Always see my before, and here's my RGG Lucid Dream. Immediately going to start going through these looks and see what happens. Jumping right into the first look, Clarity, you can see what I'm talking about. We're lifting the blacks and pushing some hues into those darker areas and the skin tones. Moving into Luminous, you can see the saturations bumped up of those hues. Glow, a little bit more desaturated. Really like what's going on here with sort of muted tones in the background. It's taking that green, flatten the hue out. Vivid, it's going a little bit cooler. Radiant, even more. Lustrous is pushing it into the green tones, but look, her skin's still preserved and we still got her red hair. That's a nice complimentary pop. Effligent, more of a split tone. Yellow's in the highlights. Skin's getting a bit of a touch, but it's still reading his skin. Beaming, that's really cool. That's shifting the split more into the cools. Crystal, warmer, and burnished is doing a really cool desaturated across the whole thing. Looking at all those, there are a couple that I like here. I like Vivid and Beaming. I'm going to click on Vivid. Let's see what's going on. It is really crushing the blacks, mousing over the other one that I like, Beaming. We can see the differences. So the background gets a touch warmer with Beaming, which pushes it more toward green. But Beaming is doing a better job of preserving the skin tones and the hair, which I think is really effective. So comparing the full before and after, you can see what a big transformation this look is on the image, but we're still preserving that sense of natural skin tones, which I love. So I can exit out of this and do some more editing in Photoshop, but right now I'm ready to call this good with just a bit of a reduction on the amount slider, and that's my look. Let's open up a completely different image. Now you can see that while the previous image was really dark and worked in a very specific tonal range, this one's working on the other half of the tonal range, which I love showing these looks on those two different contrast ratio situations. You'll see it's really effective on this too. I'm not gonna do any balancing. This image looks fine to me. Even though it's light, it's not overexposed. I'm gonna go directly into my profile browser and open up Lucid Dream. So jumping right into the first look, Clarity. You can see in the last one we were actually lifting the blacks, but in this one there are no blacks in that range, so it's actually adding some contrast to the image. Very cool. It treats a light image very differently, but the hues are still consistent between those two very different images. We're cruising through all of these different options. Vivid is pushing some blue into the midtones, keeping this nice pink or light peach in the skin and clothing. Really cool split tone here. It's almost pushing some neon green into the light values and then flipping that. So now it's rosy in the light values and kind of green in the mids. Effligent is really nice. It's creating a warm feeling overall. Beaming, going back into that cool range, but really preserving those pinks in the in the clothing and skin. Crystal's doing a warm wash, almost green overall, and burnished, a really beautiful subdued 
look with burnished. I really like that. I want to show you what the amount slider does if I crank it up. It's cranking up the effect that it's having. So in this case, it's going even more desaturated in the neutral values and pushing a little bit more color into her skin. So that's been a look at our look pack called Lucid Dream. And that's been using the Adobe Camera Raw workflow. I can't wait to see the results that you get from it.